Oh fuck! Oh, he didn't want to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got unfinished business on this Munro. Me and my friend John came here, I think it was back in 2012. It's blown an absolute hooli, probably about 60 miles per hour plus. Touched the top, we had to bail, it was way too windy. John's rucksack blew away, so we just got the hell out of here. It wasn't until later on, I looked at my GPS log it just looked like we'd stopped just shy of the summit. So to this day, I was unsure if I touched the right summit cairn or not. So I'm back today, and I'm almost there. <laughs> so this could be my last one, no. Check out the vista. You got the Torridon Giants just in front of me. Ben A, Leah. Got the Fisherfield Wilderness in here. And if I pan to my left, you can just make out the sky cooling. So that bigger cairn there, that isn't the true summit and thankfully it's not the cairn that I touched all those years ago. So I'm going to push along the ridge a little bit, I can just see another cairn popping its head up. As it happens, there's a third cairn a little bit further on again, it must be this one. I'm pretty sure this one here is the true summit and I reckon this is the one that me and John touched all those years ago. I'll show you the footage, see what you think. So what do you think? I reckon it is this one. It's in the bag two times. Super balls. So with Marusk done and dusted, we're on our way to the Corbett next, which incidentally used to be a Munro, but it got reclassified as a Corbett because it just fell short of the requisite 3,000 feet height criteria. So I think it's actually in new money, it's 912 meters, which is two meters short the magic 3,000 feet if you convert it back into Imperial. It's uh, currently 20 past 4, we set off at quarter past 12, so it's going to take about four and a half hours to get to the summit of this Corbett, which incorporates the Munro, obviously. We're nearly there, and uh, it's just going to be where we're going to pitch. The gusts are constantly around 20, 25 miles per hour, I reckon, which is doable, just not overly enjoyable. This would have been a nice summit camp actually. There's a nice little flat grassy patch right below the summit. Seems quite sheltered as well. Uh, just where Greg is, 
got a couple of tents in there, easy. First things first, let's touch the summit cairn. Alright, we've just picked up a stalker's path that winds its way down to the glen, should make life a little bit easier on old knees. This path goes on for ages zigzagging its way down Alrighty folks, that's us reached the valley floor We are in the glen Now it's time to find somewhere to pitch Nice little riverside pitch Nice flat grass Out of the wind Perfect Alrighty, let's go. Alright boss. Right, I think I'm going to pitch the dust in here for its maiden pitch. Aye. It's a bit windy which is good because I'll keep the midges off. Now we're down in the glen. This looks flattish, a little bit lumpy bumpy. But I'm taking it because I'm starving and I want my tea. So Greg's got his MSR free light. I've got my Dustin effort. Kev is rocking his usual Lanshan pyramid. Well, that's bang on seven o'clock, folks. Tent is pitched. Waiting on my dinner to hydrate and then I can get some tea because I'm getting cranky. Really hungry. Alright, Kev, how's it going, mate? How's the pitch? Hiya, Hen. My pitch is perfect. Excellent. What do you like about it? Nothing. Fair dues. <laughs> I'm Ovski. <laughs> <laughs> So if the river is in spate, this is your, your crossing. Doesn't look the best by the way. Let's have a wee look. Definitely want to lean forward on this lake. If you lean back, I think you'd uh, end up falling in. It'd be a bit more difficult if I had my backpack on. Let's get a bit more wobbly in the middle. Whoa! It's 20 past 9, so I'm just going to fire up a wee cheeky hot chocolate I picked up from a hotel. 200ml, boom, Bob's your uncle. Good morning campers, it's just gone 6 o'clock and that was the time we all agreed on to get up and get these two more nose done, so uh, I think I can hear Kev, anyways, um, tent performed well, the wind's calmed down during the night so it's not really had to put up with that much but aye, so far so good, I'm, I'm liking the tent so happy days. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to get up. So I've got something a little bit different for breakfast. I've got this raspberry coconut hemp seed porridge that the Fell store are sampling. So I'm going to give this a go. 480 calories, so that's decent. I'll pack a punch. Right, porridge is made. Let's see what Hannah from the Fell store has come up with. I'll just give you a wee sneak peek. You can make it as thick or as runny as you like, I suppose. Bit too much salt, I think. 
I like salty porridge, but not when there's sweet things in it as well. But otherwise, that's no bad. Well, that's us all packed and ready to roll. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. oh, fuck. Oh, you didn't want to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, Going for the camera. <laughs> Uh, see them in the hand, like. Monkey boy. <laughs> oh. Can always rely on Kevin for a bit of content. <laughs> so we're heading up for Bialik Bernays. Once again, we're going to head up this ridge here, just behind me, to get to the first Munro of the day. Well, the rain started to come down pretty heavy there. Waterproof's on. The zip has burst on my waterproof trousers. Luckily, it's the lower half of my leg. So they'll need replaced. Right, that surely is the summit just beyond Greg there in the atmospheric cloud. Yes, that's the first Munro of the day done. One more to go. Well, a quick breather, a bite to eat before we head up the second and the last peak of the weekend which is currently in the clag as you'd expect today I thought I'd better get a quick clip of this before that cloud closes in again That was a brutal descent folks, I've hardly done any filming but we're back at the Bridge of Doom Here we go again, I've done this three times It's a bit slippier this time <laughs> Kev, what's the time? Wrap a clock, wrap a clock, wrap a clock Yummy! Get it eaten You love it? In you go, son. Go <laughs> hand. Did you have to get the camera? <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> yeah. Superb, that's us. Back on the path. You can see Greg's van. No even half a kilometre away, so I'm going to sign out of this one, guys. If you watched this far, thank you very much. And I'll catch you next one. Cheers.